now let us discuss about string in automata theory string concept comes under central or basic concepts of automata theory or mathematical notations of automata theory first let's see what is a string string can also be called as word string is a finite sequence of symbols chosen from some alphabet sigma so string means it contains a countable sequence of symbols and all those symbols are chosen from some alphabet sigma string is represented by w why because other name for the string is word let sigma is equal to 0 comma 1 then the possible strings from the alpha from the alphabet are if you take zero occurrences of the input symbols then we will get epsilon if you take one occurrence then one string is zero another string is one if we take two occurrences then we will have four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 if we take three occurrences then we will get eight strings 2 power 3 eight strings like 3 bull 0 0 0 1 so likewise we can take n number of strings now let us see the string operations totally we can perform 11 operations on the string now let us see all the operations one by one the first operation is length so length means the number of symbols present in the string if w is a string then length of the string is denoted by mod w so the symbol the symbol is pronounced as mod example let w is equal is equal to abc then the length of the string mod w equal to here w totally contains three symbols so mod w equal to 3 next let's see the second operation empty string or null string a string with zero symbols is called as empty string or null string so empty string means it doesn't contain any symbols it is denoted by epsilon so this is nothing but epsilon symbol the length of the empty string is zero why because empty string doesn't contain any symbols so we can say that if w is the string then mod w is equal to zero why because empty string doesn't contain any symbols now let us see about prefix of the string prefix means any number of leading symbols present in the string so prefix is nothing but leading symbols let w is equal to abc now let's see what are the leading symbols we can write abc as epsilon into abc epsilon into abc so leading symbol so here we can take this epsilon as the leading symbol so the first two prefix is epsilon next here leading symbol leading symbol means starting symbol so in this string what is the starting symbol a is the starting symbol so one prefix is a next we can take ab ab is nothing but another prefix ab is nothing but another prefix next we can take abc if you take ab also if you take this epsilon also then epsilon into ab is nothing but ab only likewise before a if you take epsilon also epsilon into a is nothing but a only next another leading symbol another prefix is abc so here the leading symbol in the string is a so here the corresponding string must starts with a so we can't take bc as the prefix we can't take bc as the prefix why because leading symbol means in this string leading symbol is a so one prefix is epsilon next two prefix is a next two prefix is ab next one is abc now let's see about suffix 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 means any number of tri trailing symbols present in the string let w is equal to abc then the suffixes are we can write abc as abc into epsilon so here the first suffix is epsilon the first suffix is epsilon why because what is suffix trailing symbol so trailing symbol means this last symbol so next one we can take c into epsilon so c into epsilon is nothing but c only so here the trailing symbol means we must take the last symbol so the next string is we can take this bc bc and the last one is we can take abc 
A, B, C. But we can't take A, A, B. Why? Because here we are taking the trailing symbols. So trailing symbol means that string must contain the last symbol. So here one more important point is if a string, if the length of the string is 3, that means suppose if the string has n symbols, if the string has n symbols, then the total number of prefixes or suffixes are here how many prefixes we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. How many suffixes we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. Here what is the length of the string? A, B, C. Length of the string is 3. So we can say that if the string has n symbols, then the number of prefixes or suffixes are n plus 1. And the next one is proper prefix of a string. Proper prefix means except epsilon and the given string. Remaining all strings are proper prefixes. So we can't take epsilon as well as given string. So if you take the prefix, what are the prefixes? Epsilon, A, A, B, A, B, C. So now proper prefix means here we can't take epsilon and the given string A, B, C. So here we have to take the remaining two. So what are the remaining two? So A and A, B. And the next one is proper suffix. Proper suffix means except epsilon and the given string. Remaining all are proper suffixes. So if you take the string as A, B, C, then the proper suffixes are, what are the suffixes? Epsilon, C, B, C, A, B, C. So we can't take epsilon and A, B, C. So now the proper suffixes are C and B, C. So here proper prefixes means prefixes only, but we can't take epsilon and the given string. So likewise proper suffix means it is nothing but given string only, but we can't take epsilon and the given string. Now let's see the next operation. Substring. A substring is a contiguous sequence of characters within a string. So substring means it is a contiguous sequence. So contiguous sequence means adjacent sequence. Let W equal to gate. Then the possible substrings are if you take zero occurrences then we will get epsilon. If we take one occurrence then we will get G as one substring, A as another one, T and E as another one. So G, A, T, E. So these are the possible substrings. If you take uh, a, two occurrences, that means if the length of the string is 2, if the length of the string is 2, then G, A, A, T, T, E. G, A, A, T, T, E. If the length of the string is 3, then G, A, T, A, T, E. If the length of the string is 4, then 4 characters. So here we must take adjacent characters. So that's why we are using a word called contiguous. Contiguous means adjacent. So we can't take GTE. Why? Because in between GTE we have A. We can't take AE. Here we need to specify some starting index as well as ending index. So the given substring between the starting as well as ending index. Okay. So this is the start. Yeah, we can take any index. So, but the substring must be between the starting index and the ending index. Let the starting index is 0, ending index is 0. Then what is the substring? 0. Let the starting index is 0 and the ending index is 2. Then the substring is GAT, likewise. So, next one concatenation. If W1 and W2 are two strings, then the concatenation of W1 and W2 is represented by W1 dot W2. So, concatenation means joining. So, appending the second string at the end of the first string. So, it is denoted by dot. Let w1 equal to abc, w2 equal to def. Then w1 dot w2 equal to. So, we have to append def at the end of abc. So, abc dot def. So, here what is the length of mod w1 w2? So, mod w1 w2 totally contains 6 characters. 6 characters. Whereas, the length of w1 is 3, length of w2 is 3. So 3 plus 3 means 6. So we can say that mod w1 dot w2 equal to mod w1 plus mod w2. So next one power of an alphabet. If sigma is an alphabet, then the power of an alphabet sigma is denoted by sigma power k. So this is one more string operation. So if sigma is an alphabet, then the power of the alphabet is denoted by sigma power k. So which contains set of strings of length k where k is greater than or equal to 1. 
so let sigma equal to a comma b then let us write sigma power 1 so what is sigma power 1 it contains set of strings of length 1 so each string length is 1 so here the alphabet contains two symbols so uh, this this is one string a b is another string so sigma power 1 equal to a comma b so here we have how many strings two strings so we can say that mod sigma power 1 that is length of sigma power 1 is what is the length 2 so here the number of symbols present in the alphabet are 2 so 2 power here we are writing for sigma power 1 so 2 power 1 is nothing but 2 so we can say that length of this one is this is the formula 2 power 1 so 2 means number of symbols present in the alphabet whereas 1 means this 1 sigma power 1 we are calculating next sigma power 2 equal to what is sigma power 2 it contains set of strings of length 2 so if we, if we, if we consider a b then with 2 we can get four strings a a a b b a b b a a a a a b b a b b so we can say that mod sigma power 2 equal to 4 why because here the input alphabet contains two symbols so 2 power here we are calculating sigma power 2 so 2 power 2 is nothing but 4 so likewise if we calculate sigma power 3 then we will get 2 power 3 that is nothing but 8 strings so here the formula is mod sigma power k equal to n power k here what is n so this value 2 so n is nothing but number of symbols present in the alphabet now let's see the next one sigma power star so in power of alphabet only we are calculating sigma power star sigma power star is nothing but clean closure or this can also be called as star closure or this can also be called as clean star so clean closure or clean star or star closure so sigma power star equal to what is the formula sigma power 0 union sigma power 1 union sigma power 2 so this sigma power 0 is called as epsilon empty string null string so sigma power star means it contains all the strings including the empty string so here we have empty string also whereas we have sigma power plus sigma power plus means it is called as positive closure or clean plus so positive closure means it does not contain epsilon so here the formula is sigma power 1 union sigma power 2 so on so the next operation is transpose operation this can also be called as reverse let the string is abc then w power 2 that is w power r equal to just we, we have to reverse the string so if you reverse abc then we will get cba and the last operation is palindrome palindrome means the reverse of your string is equal to the given string the best example for the palindrome is madam so this is about what is a string and what are the various operations we can perform on the string in finite automata